Um, honestly, maybe it's me, but this place is not really giving me those friendly vibes. Uh, oh, sh**. It is devlog time and finally after a tiny break we're gonna see two months of progress in my game. So the first thing we see today is this uh, bowl and it might not make sense now but if I take this part off you can see some juicy things inside. This is how it looks and with a drill and some particle system I can break the top part. And if you look inside you can find the steam page for this game. Uh, yeah, you can actually wishlist. Actually you have to wishlist it. Please do it. That was a lie. You can find some sulfur fungi deposit and some purple coral that you can harvest with a knife until this whole thing becomes like me. Empty inside. And if you remember, we already have blue corals and red corals, so I thought adding purple ones would be nice. Even in the game document, you can see that you can get something cool by smelting those three guys together. Also, since I've written a clean extensible code base, this is also working perfectly in multiplayer. Yeah. It... <laughs> Wait, what the f***? Okay, let's move on. Do you remember this old climate sensor? Uh, I have never been really happy with it. That's also what my mom thinks of me, but anyway. So I decided to remodel it and make it a little bit more visual appealing. But since I'm not smart enough to come up with new ideas, I did the same thing, but just with more details. And this is the result. As usual, I can place it and have a little animation before it starts working. And also added this thing rotating without a real reason. And finally, I made some LUDs and a little stress test to see that everything works fine. All right, next thing to add. It comes from an old concept art and it's a poisonous coral. The top part will release some poisonous gas. So if you have something to protect yourself with, you can harvest it and get the toxic bulb sample, which is basically just a chopped part. Yeah, a slice of it. This probably will be useful with the next item that is the biomass burner. And guess what? Yeah, it burns biomass, which means it allows to generate energy by burning anything that is organic. Those four slots you see are meant to hold energy cells and to know whether if it's burning something or not, you can tell by this glowing chamber, pretty much like smelters. Let's now change topic and talk about the farming system. For some reason, some time ago, my caveman brain told me to take two small squares, put them next to each other, give them some depth, put some dirt in them and call them pots. And there we go, the worst and most useless pot known to the humankind. First of all, it's too small. It's supposed to make a whole tree grow in it and uh, unless you want a baby tree, it won't work. Second, there is not enough space for one tree to grow, so I had the great idea to add another one right next to the first one and making the trees colliding with each other. And third, it just looks bad. So I had to take a drastic decision. I went from squares to circle and yeah, this is the new planter. Well, it is better, but it's still missing something and I know what that something is. It starts with P and finishes with S. It is five letters long and yeah, I know you guessed it. I'm totally talking about pipes. To let the player know whether if he met all conditions for the plant to grow, I added some red and green lights. Well, actually kind of green. So green your plant will grow, red it won't. Okay, moving on. I need silver for some crafting and I'm tired of drilling minerals. It's kind of getting boring and overused at this point. So I will go for something different. I created this silver leaf tree and among all his parts there are some sticks uh, that in some conditions can be coated with silver oxide. So with a knife you can harvest some silver oxide which is this guy over here and by smell Melting two of them together, you can have silver. I made variants of it and lots, and once you harvest those sticks, they turn to their original color. So technically now you can farm silver if you want. The next plant is called limber tree, um, nothing special about it, it just gives you the limber berries, something you can burn with the biomass burner or use for crafting, I don't know yet. As usual, I made variants and lots so that when I have forest, it will still run at a decent frame rate. I also made some other assets that I'm not sure they will make it to the final game. But uh, yeah, I don't know, I will see. Okay, now speaking of hostile weather, something I wanted to add to the game, I tried to make a sandstorm for the desert island. So I changed the color of the sky, added some thicker sand color fog, added some particle system and some wind animation. But I felt like that wasn't quite hostile enough. So I don't know, I just added a script that I made for fun some time ago for a Twitch streaming and it turned out like this. Uh, I don't know, you tell me in the comment if you think this is too much. This is, to me it looks good. Uh, I, I don't know, you tell me. Okay, don't forget to wishlist the game on Steam, it really helps. Subscribe to stay up to date and let's see if we can get to 3.6 million likes within the first 24 hours. Beside that, have fun and I'll see you guys in the next video.